Hi everybody, welcome to Web Workout 101. I'm Debbie Campbell. Today we're gonna do a core workout on the stability ball. But we're in, in addition to working the core, we're also gonna go over back basics. All right, so as a trainer, what I see a lot when I go train people, especially new clients, is a lot of this stuff. Okay, this is um, called rounded shoulder syndrome. So, and this is usually from using a computer too long. So what ends up happening is you overstretch these muscles and then your, your back muscles don't function properly. It kind of messes with your posture or if you see guys in the gym who have this thing going on, they have over trained their chest and under trained their back. They don't realize how important the back is, especially for posture. So when we start to do back movements, the first thing I see as a trainer is usually when people start to do a row, it kind of looks like this they put all the work into the neck. What we're trying to learn how to do is slide those shoulder blades down the back and squeeze the rhomboids together. So today what we're gonna do is focus on those movements, sliding the shoulder blades down the back as you do your back work. So that way when we start lifting heavier weights, which I think next week we are gonna do a heavy, or maybe it's the week after, a heavy, excuse me, a heavy back sequence, You'll be all ready to go, you'll be squeezing the right muscles, and you'll get the most out of the workout. All right, so today, I have my ball, I have my mat, I have a set of five pound weights. I'm not gonna use those, I'm just, I have them out to show you that you can use them. If you feel like you're really strong, you know what you're doing with your back, you've got it all down, then use the five or three pound weights. I wouldn't use heavy weights here. But what I'm gonna use is a couple of soup cans, or actually these are bean cans. They're 15 ounces, so they're almost a pound, but that's just gonna help me. If I'm using heavy weights, my muscles aren't gonna fu function properly. So I am really gonna focus on form on the back here. So in a, even if you, don't want, if you don't want to, you don't have to use anything, no weights. Just this movement should be challenging enough if you have this rounded back, rounded shoulder syndrome from sitting at a computer all day. So if I walk around like this, I'm just screwing with my neck, I'm putting everything into my neck, and it really isn't very pretty. I wanna roll those shoulders down and back, chest out, abs tight, proper posture. All right, makes you look like you lost five pounds, maybe had a boob job. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna start by warming up, and <laughs> hopefully, you can see how close my ball is to the pool. Hopefully, I'm not gonna take a header into the pool today. Uh, okay, let me, or the ball's not gonna take a header into the pool. All right, so let me move these five, out of the way just so I don't trip over them because we all know that could happen. All right, and what I'm going to start out with is some Supermans. So I'm going to roll out onto my ball, uh, hands underneath my shoulders. I'm going to glue those feet together, abs nice and tight so my pelvis is on the ball. I'm pushing the pelvis into the ball. I'm going to lift my toes up. One, two. So you should feel this in your lower back. Your lower back is part of your core. Four, five. There's nine. There's ten. Now we're gonna go down on our elbows and do the same thing. I want my elbows right underneath my shoulder. If I can get them there, nice straight back. Squeeze it up. Eight, nine, there's 10. Okay, roll that out. Oh my gosh, she's so proud again today. And... Okay, and then we're gonna go right into back extensions. I'm gonna move up a little bit. So if you're not comfortable with your ball yet, you can put your feet, you can do this against a wall, and you would put your feet up against the wall to help support you. I'm just gonna roll onto my ball a little bit, push my toes underneath, and all I wanna do here is lift. One, two, three, four, There's 10. So we're watching these shoulders again. I'm gonna make sure that there's not this, this thing going on right here. Sliding those shoulders down. Now this time I'm just gonna lift one side. One, two, three. Pushing that pelvis into the ball.
There's 10, now the other side. Now my feet are slipping out from under me. I should have the mat under one, two, three. Oh, these feel so good. Four, five, There's nine and 10. Okay, then I'm just gonna hang over the ball, stretch everything back out, nice and relaxed here. Okay, so let me get my soup cans, or my bean cans. Okay. So Cindy, if, if, if there's a way to get my back so you can in the shot. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with is rows and I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna have to get my feet on this mat. Else I'm gonna slip off. You got me? Okay, so what we're gonna do here, and again, you can have your feet against a wall, just like that, and it would help support you if you're not comfortable in the ball yet, all right? So the toes are turned under, I'm pushing back through those heels. I wanna have a straight, as straight a line as I can get from the tip of my head all the way down, especially to my tailbone, but if I can get it all the way to my legs, that'd be awesome. All right, so we're gonna start with a row, which we're gonna do a bazillion of through, the, through this program. All right, so I'm gonna start with my arms down. I'm just gonna pull them back. So I'm gonna think there's a ball between my shoulder blades. <sighs> So these may seem easy, but right here, I want you to really think about squeezing. Nine and 10. Now I'm gonna take the weight or the soups and drop them down, soft elbows and row, one. So I lead with the elbows, two, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, flying, sorry. Four. Five, nice straight line, maintain that straight line. Don't let those shoulders do this thing. I think that's seven, eight, nine, and there's 10. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna pull them up. So keep, now this is a tough one. I want you to really think, so when the minute I lift this up, my shoulder starts to do this thing. I wanna slide it down. Constantly thinking about that shoulder turning and sliding down. That's the way it's supposed to move, all right? Oh, mommy sita. All right, here we go. And lift it up and down. Nice and slow. You don't want to use momentum. You don't want to throw those arms up. Is that six? Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. This dog thinks he is a freaking movie star, huh? Huh, buddy? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is combine a couple of those movements together. I'm gonna row and fly together, and maybe we'll toss in the overhead too. So I'm gonna get myself in my nice straight line position. I'm gonna row, fly, overhead. Oh, I like that. Row, fly, overhead. Watch those shoulders. That's three, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> fly, overhead. <laughs> fly. Oh, I like these. Fly. And even with these little soup cans, if your shoulders are moving properly, you should feel this. That's eight. I think I'm doing extra here. Nine. There's 10. One more. Fly. Overhead. Now I'm gonna, oh, around my back, because I really feel this in my lower back, Ooh. which is good. You want to feel things there. Okay, we got one more set to go. And this time I actually am going to take those soup cans and put them away. 